Hello and welcome to Team Atlantic channel. Today we're going to talk about rebuilding LED light fixture with a Brady driver. We'll be using digital mount mirror and power supply to test parts and components. If you have any questions about this repair, write them in the comments. It would be really interesting to discuss them with you. Also, if you want to get our new videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the bell. On our bench today is a ceiling light that needs to be restored. All structural elements are disconnected and the driver is missing. Our client requested that this light to be restored to preserve the existing lighting design in his home. We need to assemble the entire circuit, select the driver and rebuild the light fixture. In the design of the lamp we see three LED lighting elements. Let's draw up a diagram of the lamp as we see it. In the center of the design is an LED ring. This element is familiar to us from previous videos. The link to these videos will be in the upper right corner and in the description. We know that the LED ring contains 10 LED chips type 5730 connected in pairs. The LED ring operates with a current of 220 to 280 mA and the operating voltage is 16.5 V. With this we have one element for further calculation of the circuit LED ring. Let's study the parameters of the other two square LED sections. In modern white lights, LEDs are powered by direct current. This is explained by the type of current voltage characteristic VAC of LED. A small change in voltage results in a large change in current. Therefore, the LED is controlled by an LED driver made according to a current stabilizer circuit. For us, this means that the current will be the same throughout the light fixture, same as in LED ring 220-280 to 280 mA. Based on this data, we need to determine the operating voltage of two square LED sections. For this purpose, it is very convenient using Actacom Remote Controlled Laboratory Power Supplies. We begin testing with a smaller square section of the fixture. For testing, we will use the Actacom APS7306 power supply. So, let's connect. To control the power supply, we are using Actacom Power Manager Express program. Connection this is a free successful. program with great capabilities for remote control of a power supply and is very convenient for this type of work. Let's set the current limit to 250 mA. This is the average value current. of the plant current in the entire amps. light fixture circuit. And in the process Output of testing enabled. a small square LED section, we will increase the voltage from 12 volts in 1 voltage volt steps and control volts. the current. Voltage 17 volts. Voltage 18 volts. Voltage 19 volts. Voltage 21 volts. Voltage 22 volts. Current stabilization. Voltage 22.44 volts. As soon as the current value reaches 250 milliamps, we get an operating voltage of 23.8 volts for a small square LED section. Thus, we already know voltage, the operating parameters of the second volts. element of our light fixture. Let's carry out a similar test for a large square LED section. We will use an inexpensive 3 channel power supply Actacom APS7205. It can generate a higher output voltage. We need this because a large square LED section has a larger number of LEDs. So we connect and connect two channels in series to obtain a maximum voltage of up to 60 volts. To manage the Actacom APS7205 power supply, we are using Actacom Power Manager Express 3 program. 
This is a free program and it has great remote testing capabilities, which are very convenient for this type Voltage, of projects. Let's set a current limit of 250 milliamps in both channels. In the first channel we'll set 24 volts and in the second 12. Let's start increasing the voltage in the second channel from 12 volts in steps of 1 volt and we'll control the current. Voltage 24 volts. Output disabled. Voltage 12 volts. Voltage 14 volts. Voltage 16 volts. Voltage 19 volts. Voltage 23 volts. Voltage 22.41 volts. As soon as the current reaches 250 milliamps, we get an operating voltage of 48 volts. Voltage 20.1 volts. Voltage 28 volts. Output enabled. Just like that, we have obtained the operating voltage for all elements of the light fixture. We will carry out a simple calculation of the total voltage and select a driver. The total operating voltage is the sum of 16.5 volts, 23.8 volts and 48 volts. Summing up all these values we get 84 volts. We choose an LED driver. We have a driver with a voltage range from 70 to 120 volts and a rated current of 280 milliamps. It suits us perfectly. We assemble the light fixture Connect all the circuits for control and turn on the Octacom M1060 multimeter in current measurement mode in our light. Turn it on and get a current value of 239 milliamps. The current value of 239 milliamps for an LED fixture is even better because this will ensure longer operation due to the lower LED temperature. After final assembly, insulation and running wires, we install the light fixture on the ceiling. Everything works great. To summarize, to restore the LED light, we needed to know only one parameter, the current in the smallest element, the LED ring. Next, we assumed a variant of the circuit and using laboratory power supplies and their software, as well as a multimeter, tested all the elements of the LED sections, selected a driver in accordance with the calculation and assembled a perfectly working light fixture. It's that simple! Thank you for watching the video. We hope that our video about rebuilding LED light fixture was useful to you. Please don't forget to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you need to repair your favorite light fixture, contact us. The link will be in the description or visit our website. Bye-bye and see you later!